Good afternoon and welcome to the show. Today in the IPL, the Deccan Chargers host the Royal Challengers Bangalore and how quickly circumstances can change. Four days ago, when these two sides last met, Adam Gilchrist's men looked unlikely to make the latter stages of the competition. But as we've now learnt in the IPL, you can't write anyone off in this game. A big game tomorrow night. I'm not sure quite how that bloke got to a nine-pointer, but I think we understand. We understand <laughs> I the emotion. Of those wins myself. Yeah. <laughs> we understand the emotion behind it all. Let's have a look at the table. Actually, the bottom of the championship in Don't particular. Relate, but, but Gordon, football makes sure it looks after itself in that situation, doesn't it? Because Hugh, you can fill this out. If 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 Portsmouth are in the trouble they're in, the players are paid, okay, aren't they? I'll, I'll, the coaches I'll, are paid. But will, if you if you provide the pies you and the why. programs, let me tell you why. You only might get ten p in the pound if you're lucky. It, let me tell you why, besides having a good union. I know we've said it before, but and he's clearly got a brilliant mind and always has had when he is bowling himself. But when you see the way he marshals his troops, you can't help but wonder what he would have been like. I and we probably know the answer as a test captain. Uh, I think the amazing thing is, like, I spoke to Morna Morkel when he came back the first time or second time he was playing. He said, this is smaller things you do to the players. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we appreciate it. Rich Macondo, the organising committee. There we are. They know the England fans very well. It may have noticed <laughs> a little bit of a, a time delay. Just before we go to the news, the Premier League is a great model, but it does the Premier League a lot of good if England do well in a World Cup. They are not mutually exclusive. Absolutely not. I mean, it, it's a, it'll be fantastic but, uh, if, if we have a you know, fantastic World Cup. Um, it'll be great for the Premier League and uh, it'll be great for English football. Know. It's really interesting, John, when you see the lineup. Some teams are going in with three spinners. These two really are going on, only in with one each. And we, uh, on Monday, we had a terrific game that we all saw where Warren took four for 21 and yet again, by sheer force of personality and skill, won the game for his team. But it's interesting to see the different approaches that some sides take. He said, this is Gareth Ainsworth, not Mark Bright. I just threw myself at it. It skimmed my head, but then it hit my hand. I didn't mean it. I just bundled the ball in. The arm, this is the best bit, might have changed the direction <laughs> of the ball. I mean, from your point of view, obviously, uh, if that goes in against your team, you are absolutely incandescent with mm -hmm. rage. That's easy. But if it's for your team, are you embarrassed? Do you say something to the player? Do you hide? What do you do? I myself will be embarrassed, I've got to be honest. I think. Thank you very much indeed, Simon. Uh, Andre, thank you as well. We hope we see you again soon and uh, enjoy your summer. I know you're about to start in April in the championship. <laughs> that will be chilly. Uh, and thank the you. team that Andre played for a couple of years ago, the Mumbai Indians, they are in action here on ITV4. Thank you very much for watching. How many times have we said it throughout his career? Shane Warne has done it again. Bye-bye for now.